What's up guys, it is Branson, and today we're gonna be playing 5-5 most likely. We might jump into a bigger game if it looks good, so see you. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing is that I just don't like till, you know. <laughs> All right, we got the flush. Okay, he's got a set of eights. We got him. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> Tell him he's got a lot of class, and it's all low. We start with $500 at the 5-5 table, but I do play the largest stakes I've ever played today, so stay tuned for that. In my first big hand, I get ace-queen on the button, the under-the-gun plus one limps, the low jack opens to 25, the hijack calls, and this spot seems like a pretty clear squeeze. Now dig on this. I put in the smooth 3-bet to $100, then the big blind puts in a cold 4-bet to 305. It folds to the hijack, a short stack who goes all in for $265 total. People rarely 4-bet with mediocre hands at this level, so I'm pretty sure there are better spots to take than with ace-queen. I fold, the board runs out, 7 queen, king, 5, 6, the big blind wins with a set of queens, and the hijack has pocket fives for a lower set. Next I pick up 8, 9 of diamonds in the low jack. I open to $20 and the cutoff and big blind call. The flop comes out king, 4, 8, rainbow, and the big blind checks. I check with my pair of 8s and the cutoff checks back. The turn is a 3, not changing much, and the big blind leads for $45. Because I checked as the preflop aggressor and the cutoff checked after me, it looks like neither of us have kings. So I feel like the big blind might be trying to take advantage of this fact. So I call and the cutoff folds. The river comes another king and the big blind bets $50. Now that there's another king, it makes it less likely the big blind is holding a king and more likely he's just bluffing. I call, he says, you win, and flips over a four. Look at little Fluffy Jr. Gonna cry. Sorry for all the Toby memes, I'm still riding high from Spider-Man, but I take this one down with a pair of eights. Next up, I have ace jack off on the button and the low jack goes all in for $290. This is an action player I've played with a few times. He looks to be having a rough session today and has now transformed himself into a dump truck monster. He's been dumping his whole stack in every other hand, so I think ace jack is a decent enough hand to try to take him out. I call, the board runs out 8-8, eight, eight, queen 3, jack. But sure enough, he turns over king 8 for trips. Got it in as the favorite, but hey, that's poker. I play a few more hands, but our action player ends up leaving and I look around for other good 5-5 tables. There doesn't seem to be any, but this vlog is Spider-Man not going home, so let's make some content. I see a 5-5-10-20 game that looks action heavy. Screw it. I'm going in. Early in the biggest stakes I've ever played, I pick up Jack Queen, open, and get three callers. I completely miss the board, someone bets, and I fold. Moving on. This 5 5 10 20 game has a $600 maximum buy in, so stacks are extremely shallow. Since there seems to be a lot of action, I think the best strategy is to be aggressive with your best hands and just try to get the money in good. In this one, the player to my left decides to put in a triple straddle to $40. I pick up pocket tens in the $20 straddle. It folds to the big blind who opens to $100. Let's stick to the game plan. I 3-bet to $300. Whew. And the big blind calls. The flop comes 6-queen-9 and he checks to me. Since he just called preflop instead of going all in, I doubt he has a bigger pair than mine, so let's just hope he doesn't have a queen. I ship my remaining $260, he folds, and just like that, we take down a nice sized pot. I switch seats, and the next big hand I get into, I have king queen of clubs in the $10 straddle. The hijack opens to $75, the cutoff calls, and it folds to me. King Queen suited is a good hand to 3-bet since it makes it less likely my opponents could have Kings, Queens, Ace King, or Ace Queen, and I bump it up to $300. Only the hijack calls and the flop comes Queen 310 with 2 diamonds. I bet half pot, $345, the hijack folds, and I take down another sizable pot. 
This is something else. Last hand on the vlog, I get ace queen off in the low jack. I open to $60, the hijack calls, the $10 straddle calls, and the $20 straddle calls. Four ways to a flop that comes ace three nine all diamonds. It checks to me. I don't love the fact there's three diamonds, but I still think my hand is strong enough to bet, and I make it $100. The hijack calls and everyone else folds. Right after the flop came out, I saw the hijack instinctively check his hand, probably checking his hand for a diamond. I think he most likely has either a high diamond like the king, maybe the queen, or just an ace like me. The turn comes the five of diamonds, and I'm just hoping he has a weaker ace now with no diamonds. At this point, my opponent has about $300 left in his stack, and I debate what to do. My first option is to give up. I check, which would give him the green light to go all in no matter what he has, and I would fold. My second option I think about is a small bet. He would likely give up if he doesn't have a diamond and would probably shove with a high diamond. I don't feel like giving up quite yet, so I toss in a bet of $120. He just calls, so... Now I really don't know what he has, and the river is the eight of diamonds, putting five diamonds on the board. I check, he checks back, and he shows jack 10 off with the jack of diamonds. <laughs> okay, first of all, he should not have played that hand preflop after I opened, and secondly, when I bet the flop, he shouldn't call either. He has no pair, and even if he hits the flush, he could easily be drawing dead if I have the queen or king of diamonds. Not to mention, the two other people in the hand could also have the queen or king of diamonds. Oh boy, well, with that, I call it a night and escape with a small win. See ya, chump. Well, uh, that was interesting to say the least. I played 5-5 five, five, and I was down 240 about. And then I was looking around after the action player left and looking for a good table. I just didn't really see any, but there was a juicy looking 5, 5, 10, 20. So I decided to make some content for you guys. I ended up, I was up 600 at one point. I bought in for 500. I was up 600 at one point, And then I got into that ace queen hand, lost that one. I still wound up up 300. So, you know, not too bad. <laughs> Up around $60 for the day. Yeah. So interesting. It was, it was interesting. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.